worry to worry to worry to traders welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to be looking at how i was actually able to get this whooping 355 pips from this set type right you can see that this is the before screenshot before the trade was actually taken and this is the after screenshot and the take profit has actually been hit please do click that like button guys as it actually motivates me to continuously release more content on this channel and if you are not yet subscribed please do subscribe spread the love and not the hate peace <laughs> so without resting any time let's get on with it so apparently before you actually take a trade you need to have a clear market structure right you need to have a clear market structure and if the mark uh, and if um basically for example right we were actually buying here meaning that you need to have clear higher highs and clear higher lows right if you do not have clear higher highs and clear higher lows your eyes actually have to be trained to actually spot um these higher highs and high lows because you are going to be using higher lows to actually draw your trend lines the first touch and two uh, and second touch basically the two previous touches of your trend line have to be on the two previous higher lows i hope i'm not confusing a lot of you guys <laughs> so basically you can see here that this is my first touch second touch and my third touch let us do something like this let us draw this higher lows and higher highs that i'm actually talking about right so that i cannot confuse you all right that's my high low that's my higher high that's my high low that's my higher high it's my higher low right that is my higher high there is my higher low that is my higher high and there is my higher low I, I entered at a higher low right we are trading the trend right so basically you can see that the two previous touches of this trend line you can see first touch second touch the two previous touches of this trend line are on the two previous lower highs and the reason why i'm actually doing this right let me just try and and just um let us say that we actually have price moving higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows right so let us say that you actually want to buy there right the two previous touches of your trend lines must be from the two previous higher lows this is your two previous higher low right so it actually means that the first touch and the second touch must be from the two previous higher lows you mustn't start your trend line anywhere else you mustn't start your trend line from that high low you mustn't start your trend line from that high low you must start your trend line from the two previous touches of your trend lines uh, uh, um the two previous touches of your trend lines have to be from the two previous high lows and the reason why i'm actually saying this is because bro you just said it yourself you just drew a trend line right a trend line meaning that it is actually there to actually help you trade the trend right so if you're going to be out here skipping high low skipping high lows trying to actually force your trend lines and stuff like that um you know i just don't really advise you to actually do that right use these trend lines um properly if you guys want me to actually drop uh, a trend line video on how i actually thought my, uh, my trend lines properly and stuff like that please do leave a comment try to interact with me as much as possible and i'll definitely make that video right because i don't just draw trend lines like other traders actually tra uh, draw their trend lines, right so coming back here so you can easily see here that we we actually have some we actually sort of like had some sort of like higher high and high low right for me this doesn't count as a higher high and a high low because it is a trend within this overall trend this is a small trend within this overall trend that is why i actually said to you guys that it is so much vital for you to actually have a trend eye uh for you to be able to actually spot these things correctly because now let us say that this actually counted let me just draw right you can also see that i also skipped that sort of like higher uh, i also i also skipped this sort of like higher high thing and this sort of like higher low thing to me it didn't count as a higher high and a high low because it was inside of this overall trend this small trend was inside of this overall trend right so these are two different trends so you know i i'm actually uh trading the big the, the big trend um not the trend that is inside the big trend not the small trend that is actually inside this big trend so basically if this actually counted as my higher low then it would have actually meant that i would have started my trend line from here 
right it would have actually meant that i would have actually started my trend line from here and this trade would have actually been invalid remember your two touches that the two previous touches of your trend lines have to be from the two previous halos of your trend line so if this was actually my halo then it actually means that i would have actually thrown my trend line like that but unfortunately this never really counted as my trend line i mean this really never counted as my high low so this is my higher low right so that is why um the uh, uh the trend line ended up being like that right so you can easily see that here we've get, we had actually had our first this is super super simple right so like it's basically these little things that actually make you miss out a lot on forex trading you sort of like skip steps i see a lot of people also forcing their trend lines and stuff like that you know uh, like forcing that <laughs> <laughs> but please please if you want me to actually release that video about um how i actually draw my trend lines do sh uh do hit me up on the comment section and i'll definitely release it right so as you can see here i actually had my third touch right and remember right now i'm actually on my one hour time frame because i basically just wanted to sort of like show you guys the structure and all of those um things right so if you can um look see clearly on the four hour time frame I then had my candlestick confirmation uh, entries, right? I then had my confirmation for entries. I don't basically for my entries. Um, as you guys know that um, I, I I cannot sort of like reveal um the way that I actually enter in the forex market because it it it, it wouldn't be fair for some of my students and you know and and, and stuff like that. But um. I then had my entry rules here which I actually use to actually enter on my trend lines and then you can see after the market actually gave us what we actually wanted to see uh, we then executed this trade so now there's also this one thing that I actually want you guys to actually take note of right you can basically see that this is a 1 is to 3 risk to reward ratio but you uh, there's this thing that i actually want you to see to, to note right you can see here that i actually entered at a higher low right this is basically a higher low right and um once price actually reached um my higher um my higher high right here right i actually put my stop loss away at break even i actually protected my profits the reason why i actually protected my profits is because now price has actually done what now price has actually formed a new higher high after price has actually formed the new higher high it can misbehave it can do stuff that you know uh it it it, 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 it can even change the whole trend it can even break this trend after it has actually formed a new high high because remember price is moving next through so higher highs and higher lows and and, and 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 highs and stuff like that right but you know because the risk to reward ratio for this trade wasn't really good at this previous higher high you can actually see that um if i actually took my profits at this previous higher high i would have actually gotten a 1.25 risk to reward ratio so we actually had to sort of sort of like try you can see that um this is a one is to three risk to reward ratio trade so when price actually reached this um uh, when price actually uh, beat this previous high high that is when the uh, the stop loss was, was actually moved at break even and then we just let price do whatever it actually wants to do right we do not protect our profits uh we do not protect our profits if price hasn't beaten our previous high high because we know that at the end of the day price has to actually do what price has to actually create a new higher high so we do not protect our profits if price hasn't actually beat the previous higher high so i don't know if i'm actually making sense guys and uh, you know if you've got any questions and if i'm uh, if, if you've got any questions or there's a chapter that you want me to actually cover do let me know in the comment section below uh, try to interact with me as much as possible so yeah that is it for this video do make sure to click that like button see you in the next one cool